Hello readers and writers! Outside it is 32 degrees Fahrenheit and 0 degrees Celsius. Do you know what that means? That's right, it's so cold it can snow! Oh my goodness, when it can snow, I love to read this book, A Big Bed for Little Snow. You'll see why it's not just about a bed, it's about something else too. Let's go ahead and get started reading. All right, friends, we're going to read A Big Bed for Little Snow by Grace Lynn. Something we know about Grace Lynn is that she grew up reading Ezra Jack Keats and she loved the story Snowy Day. And in Snowy Day, there's a little boy who goes around playing in the snow. And so Grace Lynn made a book just like that for Asian American children and us because we also love this story so much, but it's so great that she can represent Asian Americans in her story. A Big Bed for Little Snow by Grace Lynn. When winter began, Little Snow's mommy made a big new bed just for him. Now you have warm feathers to sleep on, Mommy said. When she looked at her little boy, remember Little Snow, this bed is for sleeping, not for jumping. Little Snow grinned and nodded. What do you think's going to happen? A little mommy. That night, tucked into his bed, Little Snow closed his eyes as Mommy kissed him goodnight. Mommy coming? <laughs> thump, thump, thump. Little Snow listened to Mommy's footsteps fade away. Finally, it was quiet. Little Snow opened his eyes. He rolled off his bed and looked at it. His new bed was so puffy and big and bouncy. Not bouncy. Little Snow grinned and then jumped, jumped, jumped. Tiny feathers squeezed out of his bed and fluttered down. Uh-oh. Is he supposed to jump on his bed? No. Thump. Thump, thump. Uh-oh. Uh, Was mommy coming? Yeah. Little Snow flopped down on his bed. Thump. Little Snow, mommy said. What are you doing? Nothing, Little Snow said. And he put his head back down on his big bed. <laughs> In the morning, when Little Snow woke up, he listened for his mommy's footsteps. It was quiet. Little Snow grinned. And nodded. <laughs> and <gasps> jumped and jumped. More, <laughs> more tiny feathers fluttered down. <laughs> thump, thump, thump. Uh-oh, was mommy coming? Mommy. Little Snow flopped down on his bed. All winter, whenever Little Snow was near his big bed, he listened for mommy's footsteps. If it was quiet, Little Snow grinned and then jumped. <laughs> Sometimes Little Snow jumped small soft jumps. Sometimes he jumped big high jumps. <laughs> Once Little Snow jumped so high and landed so hard he made a rip in his bed. Uh-oh. What's gonna happen? What a lot of feathers fell that day. It looks like snow. Maybe that's why he's called Little Snow. When winter was over, Mommy came to clean out the feathers from Little Snow's bed. But there were no feathers. Little Snow's bed was empty. 
Little Snow, Mommy said, did you jump all the feathers out of your bed again? <laughs> yes, Little Snow said, but he grinned. Aren't you glad? Now all we have to do is fill it again next winter. Readers, thank you so much for reading this book with me, A Big Bed for Little Snow. Now you know what it means. Little snow makes the snow that comes down from the sky. I love this story and I hope you loved it too. See you next time. Bye.